Hello students, today we will discuss how to add the adder and footer to your printing page. Headers and footers are simply standard text that appears on every page of the report. A header prints on the top of the margin and the footer prints on the bottom of the margin. Both are centered vertically in the margins. <clears throat> so what is the procedure to add the header and footer onto your page? You are having a page layout button here in the status bar. You just click that one. When you click your button, you are having header here. It is your header, the company list. You can delete it and you can put any text here. This is a procedure to add text to your header. In the same way, you can put the text to your footer. Once you have applied a header to one page, it will automatically be transferred to second, third, fourth and so on. Whatever pages you want to work on it, you can do that. Now what is the procedure to add auto header and footer? It was the uh, contextual type header. Now if you want to add the auto header and footer, what you have to do is you just go to header and footer tools. Here was written header and footer tools. When you click on header, you are having so many options for your auto headers for example we have uh, selected this one the talcoma project one page one now it is written over here the talcoma project one page one in the other sheets it will be also displayed as page two page three page four with the talcoma project it is a way how to add the header in the same way you are having footer, auto footer here like page 1, page 1, telcoma, confidential, whatever, whatever uh, you can say, whatever style you want to give to your uh, footer, you can give it. it. They are the auto headers and footers adding to any project. Now, we are having a custom header or footer. It was the auto. Now, we can also add the custom header or footer. Look at this group, the header and footer elements. You are having page number here. It is to put the page number on your sheets. Number of pages, it is to get the total number of pages in which you have uh, saved your data or uh, the pages you want to print. Current date will display the current date, current time will display the current time, file path, it will show you the full file path where your file is situated. Other one is file name, it is to display the name of your file, the sheet name, it will display the sheet name. Picture, uh, when you click this button, it is to insert the picture that inserts the image that you select from a dialog box that enables you to select a local image. Other one is the format picture. It is to apply the formatting that you choose from the format picture dialog box. And when you enter an insert picture button without adding any code of its own. So these were the elements which are used to create your custom header and footer elements. For example, uh, I have just clicked date and the date is appeared, date element is appeared on this. When you print this page, the current date will be displayed. It is a number of pages. It is a text to show the number of pages. Okay. The file name, sheet name as we were discussed earlier, they all will display the information related to them.
yes there was there is a options in the group you have the option of different first page if you want to do the different paging on the first page rather than the other pages then you just check this box then your first page will be different from the other pages of the workbook you can create different header and different footer for the first page it will not be copied to other pages it will be different the next one is different odd and even pages this check box is for if you want to have the odd number have the different odd number pages if you want to add header and footer for odd pages and the different for even pages so this check box will be checked okay the header for old pages will be different and the header for the even pages will be different so this was all about how to use a design tab for header and footer tools thank you